see what happens. Here we are this evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome for another whimsical game of Moonstone. Uh, this evening, from childhood time, we're gonna have the one and only, the broken, unbelievable, the sexy and beautiful at the same time, even if that could be possible, I don't even know. Joe B1, no one know as well as uh, Joe, or my best friend from childhood, you can choose which one you prefer, planning uh, for the second time in his lifetime, or so he says, <laughs> but no one believes so, uh, Commonwealth uh, Human Soldiers List. But I will let him introduce it, and yeah, over to you. Joe. Well, I, I've never met this man before in my life, is the first thing I want to say. <laughs> um, um, and yeah, it's, it's Commonwealth Humans. Um, Somebody in the Discord said they wanted to see Commonwealth Humans, and I haven't played this version of Soldiers with Flintlock in a while, so um, yeah, here we are. <laughs> so what's the aim of this evening for those guys? Just uh, collecting Moonstone, bra bracing my knees uh, to a different angle from a usual one, or what hmm. else? Coll collecting Moonstones and seeing if I can get some six shots with Flintlock. Oh, <laughs> very kind of you. And on my side, instead, I'm going to have my cultist list as uh, possibly someone of you might start to know and hate, I don't know, or love, depends, or totally indifferent, it could be, as uh, the possibly the best shot that I can give to Joe. If not that, possibly I will start playing in Giants and pretend that I never seen, I never met him in my life before, as he keeps repeating. It's lovely when he says so. <laughs> so we have a setup. The Moonstone are been has been scattered. We got a couple of them that are ending up in the water. So we have one here, one there, and one over there, where one has been lonely and alone over there, possibly I might reach it with Daniel later on. And uh, we have a good scatter here in the middle that is going to force the two of us to have a nice old gold uh, brawl in the middle. And we will see, simply because um, Joe won the initiative, good old broken Joe, and then he's going <laughs> to decide what to do next. Um, I think I'm going to let you go first. Oh, silly you. Didn't expect that from you, Joe. Okay. <laughs> I will activate Daniel. Yeah. I will jog up my 3.1 inches, reaching the, the secret is I don't have a plan, so I'm letting you activate first. Yeah, very gentle. Very kind of you. Yeah. Any reaction? I'll think of something by the time you're done. Uh, nah. Okay. Spending one. Picking up the stone. The stone here. And then any reaction? Nah. And then spending up another two, declaring plant the placard. So we'll make my models move slightly forward to oblivion. That's something that Joe keeps repeating to me all the time. <laughs> and it's over to you. Easy. Right, I think we'll go with Poppycock first. Um, yeah, we'll go with Poppycock first. He's going to spend one to yell out commands to all Calders. And yell out commands to Flintlock. Uh, one second. So the idea that he's gonna get a bit, and then he's range. going to jog up through this gap to about, uh, and then getting yes somewhere like here. Let's check where you are. Um, da, 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 da. Something like that, I think. He's actually gonna scoot himself back a bit and stay within an inch of flintlock. Yeah, we'll do that, and that's poppycock. Okay, over to me. Not much of a chat. Activating Regan, <laughs> spending two energies, declaring Verdant Growth with five cards, looking for greens. Mm -hmm. You have to pick up your six whenever you're ah, ready. Ah, yes. If you don't mind. I remember how this guest game works. Yeah, I know. It's a guest game. So I'm going to put <laughs> down a card and I'm going to say, this is a green one. And you have to say bluff or okay, based on your feelings. I, I think that's probably a green one, so I'll allow that. Okay. I'm gonna, I then have to reset the deck, shuffle back the cards, and taking out a wood patch. Yeah, I've never played Moonstone in my life. Yeah. 
<laughs> Says the same person that keeps glorifying himself over a post on Facebook. Oh, look at me. <laughs> look where I ended up in a, in a book. Oh, what a chance. I've, I've never played this game in my life. <laughs> the same that he says about never met me before so we we can start all believe about the fact that is a bit of bullshit <laughs> anyway. possibly there it might be more helpful uh, yeah that's what for. just checking the distances and making sure that we're gonna get a bit of it uh yep blocking that there then spending one and uh, reducing the stone down to a one that is going to be the maximum use I can make out of my energies. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, unexpected. Fantastic. And over to you. Oh, no, I'm going to try for my own fantastic activation here. Quack's going to jog up to here. Base that stone. Yep. To spend two energy to grab it. Yep. And then one energy to put foresight is it called Foresight? Yeah, Foresight and Flintlock. And you have uh, the one whimsical token that you can make use of. Oh, lovely. Well, it's plus two, so I'm going to stick two tokens yeah, on it. If you want to. It'd be really useful if there was like a set of tokens or something from Moonstone to denote this. Ah. That'd lovely. be really useful, wouldn't it? <laughs> int, int. Okay, got it. <laughs> and it's over to me. Yep, oh, that's, okay. that's him. He's only got three energy and he's a weakling. Oh, poor star. Poor little star. Activating Lubart Lubart. I will jog up. And that's too much. So it's going to be possibly 3, 8 over there. So I can make use of uh, this uh, whimsical uh, tree. And mm -hmm. hiding myself behind it. Then declaring possibly less than that jog, actually. Let me double check because then I cannot do what I wanted. Or maybe yes. Distances are a bit... Oh, no. Uh, I can, but I need to be a bit more back here. So I can drag along pretty much. Everybody. Need to confirm that Daniel is within three. N -n -n no. So a bit mm. more back. Yeah, well, I, I, I know what you're doing. <laughs> I, know what, I know that you know, you broken man. <laughs> Just have to make sure, yes. And after that, he's going to spend one of his energies declaring all in on Klaus. He will go okay. with four cards looking for any twos. Four cards. Yeah, the fourth one given by Krista Bean within... Oh, the... yeah, Callista, of course. Sorry. That's all right. I, I prefer to remind everybody about the rules that I'm making use of. Yeah. Uh, I just assumed Righteous Fury because... <laughs> uh, no, no, I don't have the energies. Like, he can't have had three energy yet. <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, but I can declare a pink two, maybe. Or a catastrophe. Or who knows what. Uh, and this is on Klaus, right? Uh, on Klaus, yes. Um, bluff. Did you say bluff on me? I am your best yeah. friend from childhood. Oh dear. Do I ever lie to you? Do I ever lie to you? To we, we, we play Moonstone. You frequently lie to me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Earth breaking. I will stop here. Resetting the Nah, deck. nothing lost then. <laughs> very kind of you. Very, very whimsical of you. Tell me, oh yeah, you, you lie to me. You piece of shit. <laughs> Ah, very kind. And duff to that, duff to that, duff to that. Do, 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 do. I will rest on my last energy. Over to you. Mm -hmm. We'll go with Eric. He's going to spend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know that. Flintlock. Flintlock's Flintlock his hero. <laughs> he wants to see Flintlock do well. <laughs> I can imagine why. And then he's going to jog there. And uh, what is he? Absolutely nothing. So he'll just rest on that last energy. Over to you. Over to me. Over to me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Activating Klaus. Jogging up over there. Spending one. Picking up the stone. And then... Any reaction? 
Nah, I'm fine. Oh, do, 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 do. And then over to you. Ooh. Um, so you've just got Callista left to go, right? Correct. <clears throat> Um, hmm. Mm 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 yeah, <laughs> I know. could put minus three of aid on Poppycock, but I think that's wasted. Uh, do it, do it, please. No, it's gonna be ah uh, minus two of aid because it starts on a plus one. Yeah. Uh. uh <laughs> well, I can jog up to here, I think. Um. No. Oh wow! I fight one second. I didn't realize how close Klaus was. Oh wow! Yes. I could have a crack at him and do absolutely no damage because he still has protection. Yes. Um, but then you can shoot him if you want to. Yeah, that's a point. Nah. Mm. We'll put... Put Calder's like here. All right. And then he'll sit on his other three energy. Oh, like a pro then. Huh? We are playing the pro I game. Uh, yeah. So, out of that... Lubard will take uh, no, a step over here. So Ooh, going down. I could. Oh, if it's so, it's reacted to my jog. I could do some steps. Um, it's a bit pointless sending Calders to hit Lubard. I mean, uh, Calder's whole thing is I can see your cards, and Lubar's yes. whole thing is I have to reveal my yes. cards, so... I cannot wait for it to happen. Believe me, when people do so, I'm so happy because I don't give up <laughs> the, the, the less uh, problem to... I mean, yeah, do it. Then what? Um, nah, we'll see. We'll keep Calder's there, so after, uh, on Callista. On Callista. Okay. She will jog and step once, reaching the stone. Ooh. So I could do some re two reactions off that. Yep, um, yep. I will do two reactions off that, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, spending one, picking up the stone. I think I'll stay there. And then uh, resting on my last energy. Over to you. Right, here we go. Here's the big man. What does, who does Flintlock fancy shooting, is the question. What, what? Uh, that's a good question, actually. Uh, it's 10 inches, so you have shitloads of space where to yeah. reach me. I, I have range on any one of your models, basically, but yes. it's who I want to actually shoot, is the question. Ah, uh, that's up to um, you. You tell me. Uh, I, don't, I don't like that funny guy with the hat. Who's the funny guy with the hat now? Uh, the silly one with the head headgear. <laughs> headgear. <laughs> yeah, that chap. Ah, that chap. Okay. Yeah. Let me take a reaction step in that direction just to be sure. Yeah. You know. Uh. No, I might have a crack at Calista then. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have a crack at Callista. Mm -hmm. Oops, that's one to shoot her. Um, and that'll be five, five. cards for me. Uh, it's going to be six for me. Mm -hmm. no. So this is a green two. I'm going to say okay to that. Okay. That's four impact damage. Indeed. And out of all of it, Callista will gladly take a bit of cover. Mm -hmm. He's going to reload uh, and then fire again. Right, right. So she's got light cover now. Yep. But um, 
It's on four. And six for me. Oh. <laughs> hey, is this probably not a pink two? <laughs> Indeed. Um, a green. Off. Um, green one. I'm not gonna say okay to that. That's the dog. I thought she was one of the ones with seven health. Oh well. Nope. She might be. Um... She might need to be reviewed. You know. <laughs> you know. You know what I'm talking about. Nah, that's fine. Um. She should be. Oh, she should be on one health remaining. Uh, she suffered four, plus two. Four so then three. Uh, you say green one. Ooh. Yes. Indeed. One and two, three. And four seven, correct. Yep. Mm -hmm. Down to one. Okay. That is the end of turn, yeah. That was quick and bloody. <laughs> well not too bloody. She's still alive. No one's dead yet. To my disappointment. <laughs> I like I love when you say yet uh. this way. And uh, <laughs> Daniel will give his energy to proud Lubart. Right, where's a good reload token? Um, uh, you can use, um, there should be one for reload. Uh, yeah, what's the best one? Oh, did I make one? Um, you can take the one that with the sword that looks down. As yeah, I'll, that, I'll, I'll, that, that can work. There we go. Just stick it over, shoot musket. Okay. Rolling, rolling. You're gonna uh, get the plus two. Yes. I have a seven. I have um, a two. And it's turn two. I want to go first or second. I would like to go. <sighs> second, please. After you. Okay. Oh, are you? <laughs> Why you do that to me? You should really have a good plan. I can reach you, and we can fight in melee. Does Calder mean nothing to you? Is that what you mean? Um, you'll have to go around that stump, so you won't be able to base. I'll be fine. <laughs> You're right. So take the long route. Kalista will jog to uh, over there and uh, resting on a last energy and it's going to be over to you. Mm. I think we'll go with Eric first, who's going to spend two energy, stick two energy on Poppycock. Ooh, sexy. And then he's going to jog here, I think. Ish. Um... Yeah, like that. Okay, based on that, then... And then he's going to end his activation like that. <clears throat> How far are we? Oh no. Six. Okay. Ah yes. I will activate uh, Reagan, spending three, mm -hmm. declaring Malachi three to Alon Kalista. Uh, five cards, looking for blues. And I will simply pass, because I don't have anything in my hand. Oh. What a shame. Over to you. I had a very... Bluish. Rich. Yeah, I had a very bluish hand to that one. <laughs> I, can, I can be sure of that. Uh, ooh. Truth be told, I was expecting that one to go off. Um, uh, 
What do I want to do? Um, That's up to you. I don't have a clue. So you have Lubard, Klaus, and Daniel left. Uh, yes, indeed. Hmm. Not sure what to do myself. Hmm, what do I want to do? Yeah, indeed. Oh, I might try and reach and beat me up. I think we'll go with Calders and Jog. Um, one second, let's. Um, can I. There we go. I want to do some measurements quickly. Oh, here we go. Measurements. <laughs> right. How far is that away? One there. jog and one step. Yeah. Let's see if we can reduce that to one jog. What do you reckon? Uh, oh, I'm actually going a bit over on that one, probably. That's fine. Look at you. He, that's look good as a jog. Yep, I'll uh, do that then. Any reactions? Um, checking because I need to understand how far away. One inch exactly. Ah, so it's pointless for me to reach you away. No, I'm standing there. Uh, standing there myself, then wondering what Calders wanted to do now. Uh, I think he's going to have a crack at um, Klaus. Oh, very mean of you. So you got uh, 3 by default, plus 2 for being the attacker, plus yep. 1 for Eric. And then uh, plus another 1 for Poppycock. And uh, nothing by Lubard. So yep. you got 3 to 5 and to 7. And I got yep. uh, three, four, five, six, seven myself, if I am correct. And I am. And I have to show you my hand, right. I know. Yes, can I have a little look at your hand, please? He's coming. I got two car two guards for sure. And I don't know. Uh, I think we can discount those pretty quickly. Maybe. Falling, falling, rising, rising. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a hand if I've seen one. Ah. Oh. If the middle one was I was whipping cut, it was simply perfect, you know. What to do? Um, what to do? It's a 50 50, anyway. Oh, those are two of the same. I was of the advice that was. Um, let's go with, <coughs> Oof. um, I think that's my only choice. Only choice. I don't think so. There is an only choice in an end like that, at least for me. And consider what you might get in your end. Yeah, we'll go with that, I think. You go with that. Oh, that's a tough one. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really don't like the sound of it. Uh, what I want to do now, what do you think I can do? <sighs> Carlos is a known cheat. <laughs> he That's... knows exactly what you're going to play. Mm. Maybe. Or well, one second. Do I know exactly what he's going to play? Yes. You, when you start to do that, you know that you blow my mind. Oh, all the time. no. This could be wrong. Oh, um, no. Actually, no. This is wrong. This is the choice. You just pick up the same card and put it back. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With a different I mean, playing the, with your mind. <laughs> now I can recognize it. Now I can recognize the Joe that I know. 
Doot, 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 doot. Uh, mm, 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 mm. I will go with the raising attack. Ah, bollocks! I should have gone for the low guard. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, uh, what so a shame! Pop your protection, and then I take four impact damage. Yep. Pip pop. Uh, I'll reduce slow, I think. Yeah, not impact. Right. No protection though. So that's nice. Yeah. Someone sings. Um, he's going to try healing himself, I think. Hmm. Got it. Got yeah, it. he has got a chicken. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, four cards looking for blues. Mm hmm. Like this lovely little blue, too. I'm going to say okay to that. Okay. You got two wounds back. And then I could. Um... Uh, we'll go for another melee attack. Okay, seven versus seven. Now we know. Oh, shame on me. Right then, let's have a look here. Okay, for sure you probably don't have a low guard. And for sure you have problem recognizing a sweeping cut. Mm. Oh, Klaus is a tricky one, isn't he? Oh, here we come again. Here we go again. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it is gonna come. Uh, let's so, have a think. Indeed, let's have a think. Um, let's do this. Hmm, I didn't expect that. Why you did that? Ah, you didn't expect me to play a card face down the table. Uh, I'll give you, it's the last thing I possibly could have done. <laughs> I will spend one energy and go for it if you don't want to do so. You can't. Um, I can't, no, but I'll get to see your cards before I... Um... Because you're a broken person. Don't yeah. You? Pick back I'll that. Yeah, yeah. I'll turn this to hand just in case. No, no, yeah, 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 do so because it was uh, yeah out of the last moment. One and two. Hmm. With that in mind... You can keep playing in the same as before, as it was your best chance. I think I'll do that. Consider all of it. I uh, will go with the raising attack. Ah. Uh, yes. You're gonna well, I'm going to crit with a high guard, so that's not too bad. You're, you're going to suffer... I, uh... I think I come out of this on top. <laughs> yeah, you're going to suffer two damages out of it. Mm -hmm. I reduce damage by two. Already counted. It's gonna be two by default, plus two for impact, minus two for your two eye guards. Ah yes. And now I've got a four inch move. Um. Now where's that gonna put me? I think that four inch move is gonna put me about here. <laughs> or, or, or I could just run in. Yeah. Sure. Is that the sensible idea? Yeah. Sure. Into the unknown. You've 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 got Lubard, Klaus, and Daniel left to go, haven't you? Correct. And you got uh, Flintlock, Calders, 
uh, Quack. Yeah, well, Kalz is about to finish, so... Uh, sorry, Flintlock, uh, Poppycock, Quack. Yeah, we'll go here, that move. Is yeah, uh, that's Kalz's turn. So it's over to me, it's over to me. Okay. I will activate Cloudy Clouds. Ha! Huh, you got this Cloudy Clouds. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. It was a possibly one of the worst I ever made. Uh, yes, Cloudy Clouds is gonna jog. Oh, I didn't know Klaus was a coward. Oh, yeah, you should, you should know that. Once you're playing against Joe, everyone becomes a coward. He's <laughs> uh, looking for his friends that he doesn't see because he keeps an eye on you. He's jogging back once and even twice, actually. Because I can, even if I'm bringing a moonstone. So reaching there, but slightly over here. Uh, and it's over to you. I will rest on my last two energies. Right, so you got Daniel and Lubart left to go. Mm -hmm. I'm tilting the card a little bit. Ah, you do the same as well. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so you can see who I have left. We'll go with Flintlock, I think. He's going to spend two to reload. Okay. Actually, let's keep the token here because I have no doubt he'll be shooting again at some point. And then Kalista will take a reaction step over there. He's going to jog like this. Uh... Ish. Okay. Yep. Okay. Any reactions? Uh, yeah. There. Yeah, Flintlock will just stand. stay there. I love those kind of games where no one attack anybody and we all enjoy a lots of moonlands. <laughs> nice peaceful game of Moonstone. <laughs> yes. Peace and love. Peace and love. Uh, so, out of it is over to me. I still have uh, Lubard and Daniel to go. So. Daniel. Oh, yes, should be Daniel. Daniel is gonna jog. Daniel doesn't have a reason to jog yet because he's not that smart to understand that it's better to stay there. Uh, he's gonna start spending two and declaring uh, Bell Ringer. Mm -hmm. Picking up five cards thanks to Kalista and looking for pinks. Now, that means that all friendly characters within the Pulse restore X wounds. I didn't play that in a while, so I had to read it out loud because, uh, <laughs> believe me, it's, a, it's not an action that I do frequently. Yeah, uh, his other actions are just better. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's going to be a pink tree. Easy. Of course it is. Um... Yeah, go for it. And then it's gonna jog. And resting on his last energy. Over to you. Mm -hmm. uh, Quack's going to jog like this. He's going to spend one energy to give himself plus two arcane, and then two energies to try and heal old Calders. 
So he's got seven arcane. Does but... he see himself Calders? Because he's over there and Eric is more than one inch away from him, so he's gonna give him a full cover and he's gonna possibly block his line of sight. And there is Um So I can ignore Flintlock because I'm within an inch of him. Oh yeah, you're right. So then yes you can and, see. And uh yeah, and a thirty mil can't block a thirty mil to a thirty mil exactly. So yeah, he will get heavy cover, but I've given myself plus two arcane, so, so I'm still you... drawing five. Yep, yep. Uh so, Which ain't too bad. Uh, oh. Okay. I think I'll, I'll continue the theme of really high healing with a blue three. And I'm going to appreciate that and I'm going to say... Who? Can you I have nothing else to heal. You might as well go bluff, I think. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. I don't have anything All on right. my end to counter it. So it's pointless even to call it. You, you completely trust me on this one, Farrah. Yes. I'll be sure to call more green threes when I go to Flintlock. Uh... Yeah, and that's quack. Uh, so you did a jog and I took a reaction step with Klaus, then you did your healing. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a reaction step with Daniel. Down to a one. Over to me. Uh, <laughs> I will activate Lubart. Mm -hmm. Jogging up. Three over there. And then declaring all in on Kalista. Yeah, a bit more than three actually. That's a 1.4, so I can go back another one inch. That is gonna be anyway too much. That must be enough. Yeah. Uh, spending one, declaring all, all in on Kalista with four cards, looking for any twos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Waiting for you to pick up your six cards. As I can oh, yeah, of course. Myself. Oh, Bit face, I, I'm thinking what I'm going to do because I think I know how this game's going to how this game's going to go into turns three, three and four now. Uh, not yet. Pink two. Uh, pink two. Yeah, go for it. So that means uh, Kalista will be moved two inches there. And then I'm going to rest on my last energy over to you. Uh, okay, so off that last uh, action, Eric's going to start stepping up. And by start stepping up, I mean spend one energy to do the only step up he can. <laughs> Sounds and now we're going to figure out what a four energy noble's going to do about all of this. Uh, uh, he has no range on anyone. Um, well, that's a might annoying. Um, right, he's going to. He's going to have a lovely jog up there, like that. All right. Yeah, bollocks to it. Um, <laughs> he's going to start yelling out commands. To everybody. Yeah. So first on all Calders. Any reactions? Uh, nope. Uh, first, to, then to Eric. Any reactions? Uh, Oop, let's make yes. sure he's standing up. I'm gonna have a reaction with Klaus. That is gonna move up there. Uh, Flintlock, who's gonna move up out uh, here, I think. Um, yeah, about here. Okay, and then there. Oh, how far is Lou, by the way? Within five or just out of five, you reckon? Uh, that should be within five. Just within five, it looks like, yeah. Yeah, totally. So a jog and I'm going to be there. Into the mm -hmm. A jog and he's going to be in the kill zone. Mm -mm. Uh. Oh, 
Wow, what do I want to do with that lab? Actually, let's... Let's get Quack up like this. Not a soldier, but can budge him anyway. Um, and that's the end of the turn, I think. Indeed. I already... Very cagey. <laughs> uh, believe me, I'm suffering more than having a melee fight. Simply because I have to consider every single move I'm doing as I might be blown up to pieces at any moment. <laughs> very kind of you, very kind of you. Flintlock's going into this turn with a loaded rifle, so... Yes, indeed. And uh, rolling our dices. Uh, you got a plus one this time around. I got a two. I've got a six. Um... Hmm. After you. Me? Yes. Again. Yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I'm a gentleman. I'm going to let you go first. Okay. Uh, Regan will start the turn picking up the stone for one. And then spending two, uh, trying making uh, a bird and growth somewhere over the rainbow. Mm -hmm. uh, she will go with her usual five cards because no matter what this game, I cannot think of Kalista being within four inches from her. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Too much pressure planning uh, childhood times. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Well, it sounds good. No, is uh, my ooh look, and then you can watch the stream later if you want to, and then you can ah now I I, I understand what it means. <laughs> it's shit. Um, it's a green one. Oh, oh lord. Um, <laughs> yeah, now now you. Oh see lord, one. it's a green one. Um, oh, yeah, you can have that. Yeah, I know because it's. Outstanding. Uh, just the way it is. Ah. Where is it? Uh, base contacting these wooded patches, I guess. I'm making it in a sec. If I can close up a bit. You know me. I'm a perfectionist when I can. Not always. <laughs> just when I can. But it's really needed at this point because I can simply play a different way. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Wasn't needed at all. It's better having that here. Uh, blocking it, and it's over to you. Mm hmm. Right, we're gonna go with Eric the Squire. He's gonna throw an energy at Flintlock. Mm hmm. Uh, and then jog into. Oh! Yeah, he's. Yeah. Come on, behave, Eric. Jog into base with that, and then drop it by one. We know uh, it's, it's on base, base contact. There's no need to move it. Ah, yeah, okay. Ah, you did it already. Anyway, I mean, when it comes down to that, TTS is a bit uh, flimsy, so there is no, <laughs> no reason to get over TTS it. TTS has got a mind of its own. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's Eric. That was Eric indeed. Ooh, why you keep yourself like that? Uh. Activating Brother Joe. Brother Joe, that was nice, come on. <laughs> That's very cruel of you. Why? Uh, I will step... No, I will jog to... Any... Out of it. I just jog, huh? But you can have a reaction if you mm -hmm. want. Uh, nah, I'm fine. Uh, then stepping once. Any reaction? I have to ask simply because. Nah, I'm fine for the moment. Yeah, I complain about people when they don't ask for uh, any reaction. So I'm gonna be the same as them. And um, planting my placard. So that means I will 
possibly uh, flipping Regan out of the water, as it's not even possible to see her like that. Uh, Kalista moved down down there. Luby Lubbard, I'm not sure what I want to do with Luby Lubbard actually. Uh, maybe I know. Luby Lubbard is gonna move one inch over there. And Cloudy Klaus. Five over there, and it's over to you. Okay. Hmm. Conga, conga, con. Ha! Conga, conga, con. Ha! <laughs> so they're they um... joining a bit time up together. I think we're going to go with Poppycock, who's going to jog about here-ish. He wants to get within two of Lubard, like that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Any reactions? Uh, uh, no. No. Hmm. It's going to be on nine cards. Versus three. It's going to be on nine cards? Yes. Uh, Poppycock, if he's going to attack Lubard. Uh, eight, I, I think he'll only be on six cards because he's out of range of Eric. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> what the? Ooh. Not yet. He's out of range of Eric. But then he's going to mm. shout his yell command. Eric is going to yeah. come close. And then he's going to be an all or nothing. That is going to be fun. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to yell commands at cold. Conga, conga, conga. Okay. Can uh, Calder field medic any of my models? No, he can't, right? No, he doesn't fancy it. Fancy hat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then I think Popcox has spent one energy and hit Lubard. All right. Uh, with the six, as you say, I go with three. Ooh, what the. What cards has he got then? Oh, let me do that. <laughs> it's even better like that one at a time I got a broken eye guard that no one cares of <laughs> I love you know what I love more of anything that you let me do all that bullshit without even complaining about the fact of how annoying I am then a sweeping cut and then a raising attack <laughs> well with that in mind I think I'll go for this if you go for that it means that uh I might take I might take it. What do you think? Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, why not? I'll go with an eye guard. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> no. Because I know you from childhood. And oh, you yeah, don't yeah. believe me. Now This game's gone downhill very quickly for me. Ah, this is all that you have to say. Not compliment to me because I've been such a good strategist. <laughs> no, no. This game is bullshit, mate. Okay. I can only deal two damages to you, and I will do so gladly. Uh, yeah. I will use my sweeping cut. Uh, dealing two damages to you because of your plate armor and uh, making mm -hmm. you suffer a minus two melee until end of turn. Losing two energies. Ah, Does no. that... I yeah, I think that I only can't. goes off if I'm within an inch. Yes. So, so I'm going to only deal two damages to you. Anyway. That's that's Poppycock's attempt. <laughs> well done, Poppycock. So my go, my go, my go. Activating Klaus. Jogging two inches over there. And then stepping twice. Over to you. Over to me. Hmm. 
So you've got Lubard and Callista left. Mm -hmm. All right, old Calders. Does have to move around the pond as he cannot jog on the pond, does he? Yeah, I I have pre-measured this. I'm pretty sure I should be able to get this unless I've cocked up amazingly. I've cocked up amazingly. That should be within two inches of... Ah, uh, cock and balls. <laughs> uh, what have I done wrong here? You love me too much. Oh, well. Right, that's not exactly what I wanted, but I guess I'll work with what I got now. Uh, I'm going to step in then, I guess. And yes. And, and, and uh, I will let you do so. And then I'm going to attack Reagan. Okay. You got... Three by default, plus two for being the attacker, and I don't expect there is anyone that can help you. And I go with no. two myself. I oh oh that's what's easy. Reagan got then? That's easy. That's easy. You can choose between a phony swing or a phony swing. So if you have an Ooh. high guard, we can make it quicker. I don't have a high guard, but I'll play this. And it should be an eye guard. Okay, a trust. Okay. Uh, four Boom. damages, five damages on me. Yep, five damage. Right, and I'm down to two. Yup. You pay up. Um. Yeah, but oh yeah, do you want to see what my other three cards? That was my other choice. <laughs> you are kidding me. It it was an interesting little hand. I picked up the two thrusts and thought, oh, he's just going to have two sweeping cuts, isn't he? Um, wow. I wish, I wish. No, uh, two falling wings. Shame on me. I'm within two, so... Yeah! Solid, we'll go for it again. Sure. Oh, I need to reset it first. That'd be useful. And I will pick up two again. This time around, it's my day, guys. It's literally my so day. Have a look. What have you got? I've got a slightly more balanced hand this time. Me too. Oh, well, I guess go for this, don't I? I mean, that guarantees killing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going for, because it guarantees killing you. Okay. Falling. Stab. <laughs> Pleasant. Pleasure. Okay, so Kalista will get plus one energy. Mm -hmm. And you can pick up uh, the stone from Reagan and Putter, whatever yes. you want to. And... I'm going to put it here. I'm going to... Oh, what? Can you, can you rotate it? I like, um... uh... I'm not sure how to... I want to put it so just the, the point is barely on Reagan and the flat's like facing this way because then it means old Carl has completely covered it with his melee zone. If that makes sense. Uh, not at all, but we can try, yeah. Put it, uh, let's, we know that is a one. If we can get... Uh, ah, like the... that, like that, like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so like that, so it's completely within Calder's melee zone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it should be one, but yeah, that's what I want. Cheers. Good old Calders. Well done to you, Calders. I knew he wouldn't let me down. Okay. Over to me. Uh, yeah, that's Calders' turn. Uh, we'll activate Kalista. Jogging two. Spending three. Declaring Leshevit Caress on myself. Five cards, looking for pink. I got a pink too. What have you got? Uh, pink too. Ah, so that'll put her at... Seven. Seven health. Yeah, go for it. And it'll give her protection, which is a slightly more annoying bit. Took. 
Okay, and it's over to you. Mm hmm. Uh, I think we'll go with Quack. He's going to stick plus two arcane on Flintlock to the surprise of probably no one. Um, <laughs> and then he's got two energy just sort of floating. Oh, I actually can heal Poppycock. Absolutely. Yeah. He's going to jog like that so he can get a clear line to Poppycock and then heal him. Uh, does he clear the line? Oop. Does he clear the line? I can take him over a little more. If... Nah, probably not. So, like that maybe? Yeah, I'm coming up with a line. Hola, if I can. Nah. Only if I can. That looks a little better, right? Yeah, let's go for it. Cool. Five on you and six on me. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll go with the blue three for style. Oh, okay. You can have it. Ah, thank you. I'll enjoy my two health back on Poppycock. Like a pro. And yeah, that's quack done. Okay. So. Then it's gonna be over to me, to me, to me, to me. To me See you. To me, to me, to me. Uh, activating Lubart. Jogging. My good. Four. Over there. I'm still too far. Yeah, three, three, six. That it would be fun if only. If only. Uh, three six over there. Mm. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, messing up with uh, with that. Uh, spending three, declaring righteous fury. Just because mm -hmm. I didn't the whole game, and now I can do it. So I want to feel the ooh, the vibes of the Writer's Fury. And then what to do? What to do? To do to do. Uh, we say that we can try, no? Yes. If I gonna step once here, I then gonna be able to reach Calder, right? Yes. Oh yeah. So spending one, reaching Calders, and spending one, attacking Calders. Uh, mm -hmm. Four and two six. And I'm gonna. I think my what is it? Three cards. I'm gonna get this. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, wish... I get to see your cards on two accounts. Oh, I wish I was in uh, within one inch. Oh lord, I can see why you wish you were in an inch. I think we'll go with that. Uh, yeah. Mm, not much I can do. Uh, and I will go with the sweeping cut. Okay. Uh, I that's how I got. So you suffer only one damage. And, um... I reduce it. Oh, oh no, actually, no, no, yeah. No, How no, much no. does his sweeping cut do against high? Uh, no, no, nothing. nothing yeah, nothing, not even on the uh, signature. My bad. Well, I get my two-inch move as well, so I think I'll use that to get here. Oh, where are we? Just like that. Okay. Come on, Calders. <laughs> and shuffle. I'm just out of three. Do, 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 do. And it's over to you. Mm-hmm. So Flintlock now for the last activation of this turn. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Oh, why is that doing that? Okay. Jog like this. Okay. What's the reaction? <laughs> Kalista taking a step over here. I'm gonna shoot Brother Daniel anyway. <laughs> okay, you got a minus two because Kalista is in the way. Mm, so I'm on three cards. 
are gonna get uh, six for me. We'll go with this lovely little green two, I think. Oh, green two. I'm gonna say okay to that. Okay, so that's four impact on Daniel. Down to three. Wait, what? Is it? It doesn't go down, right? It does go down to three. It does have seven uh, seven wounds. Oh, sorry. I thought you get you say my damage was reduced to three. No, 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 no. It goes down to three. <laughs> as I was very from... confused for a second. I thought uh, Daniel doesn't have armor. No, 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 no. No leshevolt. And out of that, Lubard will take a reaction over. There. Lubard will cut off line of sight completely. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. We'll reload and then we'll. After your reload, I'm gonna take another step. Here. Reload and we'll... Oh. Yeah, we'll reload. We'll reload and we won't do anything. Else. So on to next turn. Okay. Final turn. Dan, dan, dan. Calder, the hope of the humans. Humans hope. And you were <laughs> complaining about him the whole time. Think about that. And uh, yes, Lubard will get uh, my. Oh come on, get the arcane tokens. Off. If I, there we go. Ah. Uh... Come on, arcane tokens, behave. What they're doing? Oh yeah. No, there no. we go. I couldn't get them off the card. <laughs> they're gonna be happy with them. Okay. Uh, rolling, rolling. Um. Yes. This is the first time I don't get a positive. Can you re-roll, please? I roll a one. I want to see. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm happy to six as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> hmm. How do I want to play this? To death. We'll go with Calders, I think. Okay. And he is going to jog like... There's no good way to do this. But first of all, uh, what's Daniel's energy at? He's got two remaining, so I want to be... I don't think that's a good way to do this, so I'll just do it like this. Um, ah, <laughs> let's just stay an inch away from Callista and base him. Yeah, he's going to jog like that. Any reactions? Uh, no. Uh, I'm going to hit Daniel. I'm going to take my best shot at Daniel. Okay. So I'm on minus two cards and then plus two for attacking, right? So, yeah, you go with three and I go with two myself. I got a falling swing and rising attack, same as before. Falling swing and rising attack, got it. And you have three health remaining, don't you? Uh, yes. In fact, I will spend an energy and go for it if you don't want to do so. Uh, nah, I'm fine. Okay, so two more. And I got a low guard and a trust now. Nothing that I can use. Woo, all right. Okay, so falling swing. Trust. We'll go with that, I think. Rising attack and low guard. Uh, 
if only, if only I would add, if only, if only. Ah, dead for dead, have fun. I will go with the trust. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> yep. So, well, it does one damage, actually. Oh, yes. It deals one damage and you can go again. Uh, annoyingly, that's my only go again. <laughs> So it doesn't kill you, but I can reposition because you only have one energy left now, don't you? Yeah. So I only have to stay within an inch of you, do what I want. So uh, let's. All right, let's cover that with my mellow zone, stay within an inch of Daniel, like that. Yeah. All right. That's what I'll do. He's, cl he's clutching at straws here, old Calders. Come on, you old man. <laughs> you can do it. He, he might be able to do it. Yeah. Um, he's still engaged by everything. That didn't change much. Uh, yeah, I'll hit him again. All right. I will go with two again. I got Falling Swing and finally a Sweeping card. Mm -hmm. You can draw any more cards? Uh, yes, another two. But I think I'm happy with that at this point. Do, do, do. So you're not going for it? I'm thinking if doing so. Ah, okay, sure. Uh, yeah, I will go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, not much, anyway. Uh, raising attack and thrust. I was hoping for a critical, but it doesn't come. Well, that's an, that's an eclectic mix of cards. Um... We'll go with that, I think. All right, I will go with the thrust. Ah, there we go. Uh, so it's two slicing to you, and I'm taking uh, one because you're one. Is, uh, piercing by minus one. Ah, okay. Oh, um, deals to right. Oh, yes, yes. You can put my stone wherever you want. I th think I'll put it in close to base contact, but actually, oh, let's put it. Let's put it in the most awkward position oh, no, possible suffer, for you. Sorry, you suffer two damages because it only reduces uh, slicing, not piercing. Ah. So it's down to six at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll put it there. Okay. Ooh, what have I done? No, I don't want to rewind time. I've just, I've just killed Daniel. This is not the time I want to re rewind time. So Daniel is dead. Uh, and I'll spend my final energy on Fields Medic, I think. All right. Oh, myself, obviously. Uh, I don't think so. There is anyone else that you want to heal around there. Uh, a lovely blue two. I'm going to say okay to that. Cool. And he's back to full health. And that's, that's Calder's triumphant turn. <laughs> Blocking me from harvesting both, right? Yeah, he's putting his zone on both of them. Okay. Ah, oh, it's all about melee in the end. I love it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I haven't managed to do any damage to any one of your melee characters, so... Um, and all they have to kill is all cultists. Mm -mm. It seems like... Oh, okay. And so, yes, I will activate Klaus and attacking Calder uh, with one, picking up uh, three, five, six, and seven. Mm -hmm. And I've got two. And you have to see whatever I got. Oh, you got quite the selection there. Um... One, two, two raising, two sweeping. 
one phone link. Yep. Um. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. What do I think he's going for? Yeah, we'll do that. That that's probably the best decision, probably. Mm. Right. We'll go with the sweeping cut then. Oh, good though. Okay. Uh, gonna deal uh, three damages to you and suffer two. Mm -hmm. Actually, I can add. Uh, oh wait a minute! He's lost Reagan. Ah, oh, he doesn't have protection. That was a mistake. And then I can add another two for another damage. It doesn't make any sense. We're gonna lose uh, one. Uh, like that is gonna be three, might be four, and I gonna be down yeah, so that... to five. Yeah, so that'll be four impact damage on me. Yep. And then you'll suffer two from your end step and one from my sweeping cut. Indeed. It's down to five. Okay. Resetting, shuffling. Any reaction? Um, crying that I forgot he doesn't have protection at the moment, but otherwise fine. <laughs> Happens to everybody. And uh, <laughs> I will go again with seven. I shall grab my two. All right, what do you got? Bit of everything again. One, one guard only, as far as I can tell. From the distance. Two thrust that I don't make use of. So it's really <laughs> attack or falling swing again. It's, it's a duplicate of everything except your signature, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, uh, that I think. All right, and um, that might be it. I will go with the raising. I think that will be it, yeah. So you're suffering four slicing off me. Yeah, and you suffering four impact out of me. Mm -hmm. So you're dead. Just enough to kill him. And Kalista will get an energy. I will be down to one. Wound. And then I will... Jog my two. And picking up the stone. Resetting. Shuffling. And it's over to you. Hmm. <laughs>
Yeah, I think you got me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh... Alright, what can I do? Yeah, I think we'll go flintlock. He's going to jog. Oh, I can't see marker. Okay. Uh, five, three, four, three, four, six, four, two, four. He's going to jog like that. Any reactions? Oh. Yes, absolutely. Uh, he's going to spend an energy to step. Spend another energy to step. I run out of energies as I spent three of them. <laughs> and now to attempt to top deck Klaus. I'm going to show. I'm going to shoot him. Okay, with a minus two. Yep. So that is a one card. <laughs> I mean, do you want to draw a resistance? Yep. Green one. Uh, bluff at this point. Oh Bang. no! <laughs> oh no! So we're gonna shuffle back. Oh, please! Be, it's it's not enough, but please be a catastrophe, please. It's gonna be a pink tree. Oh fuck! Yes! Sake. <laughs> Fucking fuck's sake. Uh, okay, you can put uh, your um the yeah. Oh, I mean, want. Callista just comes and collects them now, but uh, it's, gonna... it's a moral victory. Yeah, you can say so. No, no, but, no, no, I don't no, want the class no, card. No, 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 don't be so mean now. There you make go. a lot of people happy out of there, believe me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no matter where you there put them, go. I'm gonna be able to pick them up. So yeah, that is gonna be it. So it's gonna be over to me. Oh, can I see the marker? Over to you. All ah, right. Um so the entire plan of going into turn four was to pick up a stone with Eric and then yeah. just reduce you to one stone. I got it. And if, if Carlos was still alive, yeah, he'd be standing there right now and Callista wouldn't be able to do anything about it. So the sensible thing would be to pick up a stone with Eric, but at this point, Eric's just going to come along, come over here, cheer along Carlos, uh, Poppycock, and he's going to see if we can't um, take, <laughs> take the giant down with me. Did you get within an inch? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, you're just over, I think it looks like. Oh, I might be. Oh, maybe. In. No, no, that's in because if I get further, it's going to be 1.1, but it's going to be over the base. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's fine. I mean, I'll just step out before I start attacking you. Yeah. Yeah, so there's Eric. Uh, two inches. Jog. Two, two stones. So I'm down to four. And that should be one, but... Yeah, yeah, we know that. Yeah. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, and I have four sto three stones with me, um, you still have a Poppycock to activate and Quack. Hmm. No, doesn't Quack already activate? No. Uh, Quack is not activated yet, no. Okay, so you still have Quack as well. Uh, piri piri piri, let's see. Oh, don't, don't worry, you've got this. <laughs> uh, with you. This is turn I... four, you've won. No, no, don't say that so easily. I mean... Uh, piri, piri, piri. 
pity 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 because you want to take away Lubart with you in a spread of love as I promise everybody. Yeah, basically. Uh, I will take. Uh, I will spend three and declaring Leshavit caress on myself. Mm -hmm. As you know me. Uh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah, that was a pink one. Want to just want to say for uh, the audience ah, right. listening to that. So I get back all my wounds and protection. That's for you, Klaus. That's for you, big boy. And it's over to you. Right. Quack is going to yeah, jog now, and then now. step a couple of times. Now, huh? Uh, he's within four. Probably go a little further like that. He's, he's going he's gonna to throw blinding powder yeah, at yeah, Lubar. Yeah, I was expecting much. And yes, you go with uh, four, no, five <laughs> plus uh, two minus plus two. one. Because Poppy, I think Poppycock is is it one within one inch? Uh, yeah, you're probably right on that. Uh, I'll, wait, I'll wait, reset wait. this. No, 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 don't reset. Uh, I've got seven cards. <laughs> yeah, that is gonna be up to me. Oh, oh okay, I'm I'm okay with this. And then I have to take five more because usually that's is gonna be the last card anyway. I'll use this blue two then instead. And I'm gonna say okay to that anyway. Right, so Lubard is melee zero. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna get one card anyway, because rules say so. Yeah. What a shame. Right, so now Poppycock is gonna go. He's gonna spend one energy to step out of the out of the Why? death zone. And then he's going to try and smash his skull in. <laughs> he's gonna get uh, four to six to eight. <laughs> Eight cards, yep. Yeah. I got one myself. And you're going to get one, which I get to see. Oh, that's easy. It's a low guard, so you cannot use your signature. You want to go with a falling swing. Okay, let's get all my falling swings out. There we go. Uh, uh, six. six impact damage. Down to eight. Okay. And um, if it ain't broke, we do it again. That's right. One, right. What have we got this time? Um, let you know in a sec. An eye guard this time around. So you want to go with a, a high guard? guard? Okay. So um, oh, I've only got one rising attack. Oh, one second. High guard, you say? Oh, the sweeping cut. Ah. Smashing these instead. Uh, two of so that's them. six impact six damage again. Down to two. Yep. And you can't jog. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, crap, the sweeping cuts have misbehaved himself. Uh, wait. I think I accidentally stacked them. That's, uh, 17. No, they should be worked. Okay, yeah. There we go. And, uh, I'll hit you again. Uh, take one, my one. Oh, fuck's sake. An eye guard again. That's unbelievable. Oh, I think I'll play a uh, falling swing. Nah. <laughs> Very mean of you. Yeah, we have six impact damage again. So Lubard, hey! is, Lubard is dead, but Kalista will get <laughs> one energy out of it. And after that, she's going to take a step. Is that one? Yeah. Okay. Nice stuff. And I guess this... And that's game, yeah. It want to be a lesson for everybody that goes after melee, just to show them you don't have to go for melee. Important is getting your stone ahead of the game so you can be sure to win. No matter what, and run away. Don't play like me, searching melee, ignoring the stones, and running against your op opponent simply because it's super fun. <laughs> play this boring game where you're running away like a coward all the time. It's much better. Be a fairy. <laughs> Isn't it? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. I need more practice with humans. <laughs> I mean, the least it works, and the way that you use them oh, yeah. works as well, so I don't see that much practice that, I think you are, that you mean i i am annoyed that i f forgot that calista has eight health and not seven oh that's because i was my, my 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 plan at the start was to just kill off something with seven health immediately uh, and then if i get here if I keep going second i've got two turn i've got two i've got back to back activations every turn yep. which puts me in a good pl but no i completely forgot calista's eight health not seven unlike Literally the other two support characters could have shot. Until the next release of Errata, where Kalista suddenly 
drops down to seven and not more oh. anymore to eight. Oh yeah, they're all going down to one health in the next round. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. And the bunnies too. Along with the bunnies, they're gonna teach the example of, uh, to, any, to everybody else. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty much uh, my cultist list, and uh, I, did, I did. Yeah, you're very well practiced with this. Yeah, sort of, because today I was playing games that I usually play. I don't like uh, this kind of uh, tactic that I apply with you, but I didn't know how far you would get with your uh, models, and so I had to play on the defensive side where I need to learn first who I have in front of me. And now I know that I need to be super crazy careful about your melee, and mm. you, pretty know, you know pretty much what you want to do and how to counter me easily. More than, more than once you've been able to counter me or block me on my steps. So if I was uh, the attacker, I might end up uh, losing uh, more than one character early turns. So you force me on, my, on, on, on the way back and it's something that I really hate. I usually be the one that is going to end up the, ter the game with staying uh, over there with my models and uh, leaving a trail of uh, blood all over the table. <laughs> Where today I completely play the opposite of that. Yeah. I have well, to it say, works, so you had enough stones in your deployment. Uh, I, I took, yes, I have to run quick forward for that one, and I really didn't appreciate the fact that it must be Klaus, the one to pick it up. But on the other end, they were spread enough, having one there, one in the water, one over there, that I cannot uh, spend more than turn one in order to gather all of them and start retreating because uh, of the way that you build up your troop. It would be too easy for you to chase me and then, uh, as you did anyway, but to chase me at your, um, at your terms and uh, killing me easily, as for the fact mm. that your, your list easily beat mine when it comes down to melee. I mean, if not just Poppycock, Calder is a very good model when it Cal comes down to melee. As Calder's a... excellent when he's standing near Eric and Gullimont, because then he's seven cards on the attack and he sees everything the opponent plays. Yeah, he's even better than Poppycock from that point of view, mm. where Poppycock can, uh, on top of it, uh, um, reducing the damage, and he does have a signature that is monstrous. To me, it's very hard to deal with because no matter what is gonna block you if you didn't jog already and it's gonna deal damage on pretty much everything mm. so it's not yeah. easy he's a monster when it gets into melee but um i think you didn't get, you didn't get too much of a chance that game uh, i mean i didn't get a chance with mine as well i mean lubard play simply play as a the standing man uh trying to take in the bullet for the, the bullet for the rest of the troop mm. But he, he was a bodyguard without bodyguards. Yes, yeah, yeah, pretty much the way it works. Uh, the difference it was for you having Poppycock being able to move all the rest of your troop meanwhile he, he was moving, granting uh, uh, three models out of the five you were planning uh, another uh, two inches of free movement, basically. And that's mm. a lot, considering uh, as well that you want to have Eric where he's most needed, but Flintlock can easily change position. Uh, moving two inches in, and somewhere, and then having another four inches of free jog. To me, that's a lot, personally, as, yeah, you can easily take out someone out of uh, their guard. Hmm. Now, I need, I need some practice with the um, flintlock version of this list. The main one I've used is the one where you... Um... Instead of flitlock and quack, you just have Fritz and Hulk Swash. Uh, you don't faff around with guns, you just run in and stab things. <laughs> yes, that that would be my list, my, the way that I would play this list, taking away possibly flintlock, but keeping mm. quack uh, for the fact that he does have uh, the blinding powder. Yeah, I wanted to try flintlock because I thought it would be good against Flesh of but um, he is. And he is, but... He, he, I mean, he was the one that uh, grants uh, the chance to Calder to finish off the models. Yeah, yeah. Think about that. Oh, but... absolutely, yeah. No, I, I, th I, I think my main mistake was literally turn one shooting Callista instead of um, Reagan. Yeah, uh, I was thinking pretty much why you didn't went for uh, Reagan straight. <laughs> ah, no, I think I went for Brother Daniel in, uh, at the start, and then you blocked off line of sight, didn't you? Yes, yes. I should have set it up so Reagan could have been a follow up. Uh, yeah, that was my idea. I mean, killing Regan, it would make uh, the wall list much easier to deal with. Even if yeah. Kalista can give them bonuses, she was far ahead of the map 
and she really need an end from Lubard as, as Lubard did in order to bring her back uh, uh, safe, yeah, mm. to safety. But that being said, um, yeah, we pretty much play along the same lines if you're planning to take off Flintlock and putting him in Fritz. I, I usually don't play Pompeycock yeah. myself. I I like uh, not to uh, build a list around a noble, but I think I will start doing so in order to get a better understanding and a better planning myself when mm. it comes down to nobles. I mean, I don't play Commonwealth humans too much, but um, when I do, I, I like Poppycock because because it's an excuse to use Hogswash, and I love Hogswash model, <laughs> basically. <laughs> That's a very nice mole, Hogswash. It is. It really is. I was thinking, um, do you think it would be fe feasible having uh, uh, Fanciet and Poppycock in the same list? Or is it going to be a bit too much? I'd say yes, so long as you're focusing around the noble trait and the soldier trait. So if you've got Fancy Hat, Poppycock, Eric, and a bodyguard. Yeah, Gotchgat. I was thinking yeah. that. And then with the fifth one, it could be either uh, Quark or Fritz, just mm. uh, for the fun of it. Because Poppycock can totally ignore his yell-out command ability, run in and smash stuff. Because, I mean, with Eric around, he's six melee and deals plus two impact damage. That hurts a lot. I've so, been, I've been um... on the receiving side of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, uh, the map as well, with the fact that there was a stone far, far away from both of us, it pretty much dictate the way that we had to deal with the with the game actually mm. and yeah i think that was a, a bit of uh, an help sort of an help yeah As, uh, well i really wanted i like initiative i really want initiative because character and i like initiative, so go last when you've used all your healers that's what i shoot yeah and which, that's what which I, if i chose my targets better would have worked i think it worked uh Anyway, what it didn't work, yeah. it was for me to be able, for once, to counter your own attacks, where I force your uh, um, pop, uh, your um, Calders to heal himself mm. rather than attacking me once more. Yeah, yeah, like it did what it was supposed to do. I shot Callista at the end of the turn, and she was went into the next turn with one energy. But my preference would be that instead of going into the next turn with one model slightly drains, you just went into the next turn with one less model. Because then that just sort of stacks up and up and up and up, and you you lose activation advantages very quickly, and then it's really easy to just bully stuff in melee. Yeah, same as always. Good old Joe. Never oh, change. yeah. Bully melee, bully with activation, oh, bully in real love life. Love bullying <laughs> stuff in melee with a two-inch zone. Yeah. You're talking about friends from childhood, not stuff. But anyway, <laughs> I got it. Uh, uh, yeah, I hope that you find the map a bit challenging, as something that I was mentioning at the very beginning. It, it the idea it would be mm, for it's players, different. yes, to have a different setup and having some more water around, as I don't see much water nowadays, or uh, would uh, water uh, features around. So I thought mm. that uh, this way might force you to think you in the terms of anybody. Uh, last time I played on that side, where my opponent was on that side and I uh, was against phones and that as well it was a very nice game uh, having uh, pretty I guess pretty much the same list as I was playing today possibly uh, having them uh, catching up here at the gate and then fighting uh, pretty much all his models with uh, mine uh, just over there for uh, a moonstone that it was over here that was a nice one but again the idea is uh, for play for uh, players to start understand there are models like could be Jada, like could be Wendigo, or uh, Daniel himself that is going to move, or Gwendoline, uh, boom boom, that can move <laughs> you along inside the wood, uh, water features, in or out of them, and or simply ignore them, having the chance then to be a bit more uh, uh, careful about the table as well when you're thinking about your troop. This yeah. sort of thinking, that is something that I hope is going to... Mm, help people realize that we have such a variety of models today that you can really build pretty much whatever you want and it doesn't have to be based simply on certain models and at, at times there are models that shine more than others or even gra grab on this uh, map is going to be super happy i guess mm. oh grab's brilliant yeah i love him 
I mean, I suffer for the fact that he's not able to uh, add a plus two against a giant with his bug spray, but he's still a fantastic model when he comes down to melee. Yeah, I uh, I like I like throwing sucker punch on him twice, jumping up behind someone, and then just slamming them for a lot of damage. Oh yes, oh yes. And the the other one is just teleporting to a really hard to get moonstone, and then grabbing that. That that's something that um, Patrick did uh, on his uh, on the, the first time that he won a game with the goblins, and it was a four player game. He played so sneakily well that in the end he used grab simply to go, and rather than attacking someone else, grabbing a stone that no one can get and win the game like that. It was amazing. <laughs> uh, today I keep thinking of that as one of the best time I ever had uh, uh, watching another player playing along with me and coming up with such a good idea. It was outstanding. Like yes, this is a proper goblin game. Exactly like a goblin would do. Now you you deserve to win this game. This this game should be yours now. Come on. And it, and it went like that in the end. It was great. Yeah, ca cowardly and sneaky. That's a goblin. Yeah, way to I do mean. It. <laughs> but that's uh, pretty much the fairies as well. I was um, watching a game uh, last this weekend, I guess. Fairies versus uh, witches. The fairies oh, yeah. applies to the idea that they have to grab the stones putting someone in the middle and run away. And what he did, start in turn two, start to retreat. No, in turn two, there was already Tito out of the table. And later on, oh, more, more and more models went out of the table. It was hmm. simply uh, nice not to be the player on the receiving side of that, but it was very nice <laughs> to watch it as a tactic applied at the very, um, in the very best way possible. To me. Hmm. So I think that, yeah, this is the kind of stuff that uh, I like to see uh, when it comes down uh, as, a, as a player, when it comes down to this game where you can see different players apply different tactics based on the troop and the race they, they are playing with. And oh, yeah. Works. It's, it's fun to see how many different ways you can build troops, play troops, etc. Yeah. Very, it's, with all the new Book 2 stuff, there's so many more options now to... What you, how you can build a troop. I just like building troops around traits. Like previously, basically book one, it was you build uh, your, your troops to a race. You have all goblins or all fairies or all humans, stuff like that. But now it's more focused on traits, so you can do like rogues and soldiers and stuff like that. I quite like my rogues list, so I shall have to play that at some point. Uh, you mean, is a Dominion a rogue list or a common Dominion, list? Dominion rogues, yeah. Mm. That must be interesting. Mo now more than before, considering we are talking about the models that are uh, showed in book two. Mm -hmm, yes. So that's they really make that a fun little list. Yeah, more than fun. I mean, knowing you is going to be a nightmare for everybody else, <laughs> apart from you laughing like that all the time. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think that is going to be it for the two of us this evening. I will probably jump mm, yeah. in the other game and have a look how, how it's going. And in the Fair meantime... Enough. Thank you so much for the time and no it's, problem. it's been a pleasure once again after childhood times to be able to cross the cards. I hope it's going to be up and uh, not too far in the future. Uh, really yeah, I'd love, love to get back on this again. I've, um, yeah, I need to get some practice in. <laughs> been a while. And remember that you still have a game uh, to do with Polly as well, as something that you mentioned yes. last year. Ah, yes, I did promise him that. Uh, I'll get sorry. that to that. When you're famous, yeah. this is what you have to abide I'll, to. <laughs> I'll, I'll play one of my, my troops I know slightly better. I'll play Fawn. Stim. Ooh, please, please, please. If you play Fawn, let me know when it's going to be the game. I will nah. do everything I can to watch it. As Paul is uh, one of the uh, players that is still struggle a lot in joining the phones. He tries, right. but he keeps losing any game, every game with them. So it might be uh. a lesson. I'll life, definitely yes. do fawns then. Ooh, I shall. Ooh, ooh. Nice. <laughs> and yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much once again, and I hope you enjoyed the game as no much problem. as I did. And I'm gonna, yeah, gonna spend the rest of the evening uh, rewatching the game and commenting, <laughs> making comments out of it um, just by myself. Yes, I've thoroughly enjoyed it because you're a gentleman. <laughs> or yeah, I'm a gentleman and I let you take your turn first. Apart from it's apart from when it's turn four. Yeah, and even <laughs> without a roll, no matter what, I always got a one or a two. <laughs> happens, happens. 
Ah, okay. So, 